A frantic scene turning worse by the second. Flames spewed from every window and door of this Auburndale home. Hoses at one point didn't even put a dent in the blaze. Inside, four firefighters were trapped. There's a little bit of a panic mode. Um, controlled chaos at best. Lieutenant Mike Seliga was one of them. That's when the, the fire started coming up, up the stairwell right at us. Separated from his crew without a hose, Lieutenant Seliga says he didn't have time to think. Jumping from a second story window was really the only option. They tell me that I, uh, I was on fire on the way down. I don't know. I happened pretty quick. It happened quick, but it's the longest drop you'll ever make in your life. About a 15 foot drop and no injuries to show for it. Another firefighter made the same jump. And then I realized that the, the other two were still in there. Um, I saw water flying out the window, so I at least knew that they were still alive and doing something. Two others stuck on the second floor were rescued by other firefighters with a ladder. And are you proud of them? Very. Deputy Chief Rick Wilcox didn't go inside. Instead, he was giving commands to his crew. Because conditions changed so rapidly, this is, the only, this is the only option that we had. Once they were all accounted for, no serious injuries, he realized the outcome could have been a lot different. Don't want to go back telling their wives that, you know, you know, something else different. I'm glad I'm on the right side of the story today. I don't know if there's really relief quite yet for me. Somehow we got separated. Um, you know, live and learn.